Hello Gemini and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess. Sorry, the cards are going all over the shop for you for a moment. Uh, this is your general reading for the fortnight, uh, May 16th through to the end of May, so the second half of May. It is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate. Your card just popped out for a second there, Gemini. So let's have a look. Uh, what can we get for you? What energies are around for Gemini? We have the Hermit has popped out. If you would like to uh, skip this shuffling or the intro, then there will be a timestamp at the bottom of the description box below. So let's just shuffle the cards for a bit, Gemini. Okay, Seven of Swords. So, so far we've got the Hermit crossed by the Tower, Seven of Swords, King of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Lots of Swords, Justice, More Swords, Queen of Swords. Gosh, what's going on with your mind? Eight of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Okay, there's a lot, been a lot of thinking and then we have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, there's a lot of thinking going on here, Gemini. Uh, and things could be really ruffled and sh and shaken up a little bit um, around something that is not fulfilling you. you. You think, actually, I think you're mulling over a decision to walk away from something here. And uh, when you do, a new path opens up here with this Ace of Pentacles energy. So there's a new opportunity coming through for you, Gemini, but let's have a look at what we've got. The Hermit card crossed by the tower, some big energies here right at this moment. So I think you could be feeling it right at this minute, trying to find some answers, but really it's hard amongst the chaos of this tower energy to find, to be able to have that peace, to be able to go within and find those answers that the Hermit card is that you're desperately trying to find at the moment. So it might be hard to focus. It might be hard to concentrate. It might be really hard to meditate. It might just be hard to kind of connect in and find those answers because of this chaos that's surrounding you. The recent past, we have the Four of Pentacles. So this is, you know, this is actually things were solid. You felt like you had a handle on things. You know, if, if you could have found some kind of stability within a situation, particularly around career or money. You know, you found some kind of equilibrium where things were okay, you know, but at the same time you didn't want anything to move because you just found that equilibrium, you know. But, yeah, I, solid ground. There's a status quo here with this Four of Pentacles energy. But incoming is this Seven of Swords energy, which is – which is uh, which is at the which is crowning you basically. So I'm just trying to see if you can see this because it's the light so glary. So this is really escaping. Well, yeah, this is thinking about wanting to leave, wanting to get away with something, or wanting to leave a situation, and thinking that. You might actually have plans already in your head, but you're not telling someone about this. It's a situation where you're feeling it's quite an oppressive situation here uh, because I'm being given this Seven of Swords character is actually escaping a military camp, uh, even though it doesn't look like it. But it's to do with regimes, rules, regulations, it's wanting to get a, an institution, even a this sense of feeling oppressed by all the rules and conditions of a certain situation that you're really wanting to get away from. So, yeah, you're. I think you're very much kind of going, I think I've had enough of that. At the bottom, yes, the King of Swords, very clear mind. You've made a decision here. You know, there's a decision to be made or has been made with this King of Swords energy. He's or when he does make his decision, you know, when this is something that's happening deep down to you, it's like it's final. As soon as you decide that you're wanting to leave that energy of feeling constricted or feeling oppressed, 
Uh, so this could be related to a relationship. It could be related to just your own thoughts. It could be related to a workplace, whatever it's related to. Once you make that decision, and there is a very good, strong, intelligent decision that you will make here, Gemini, it's kind of, yeah, you can't go back once you've made that decision. And that King of Swords energy is coming through loud and clear. In the near future, we have the Four of Swords, which is once you've kind of made this decision, you will just need a little bit of time to process it. You might actually just suddenly, you know, sometimes you make a decision and you just get knocked out for six, like your energy just kind of hit and a wall of exhaustion just hits you because you've just let go of something, a major thing. And so this can sometimes be, sometimes when you make those decisions, that's when you just need some rest or some good sleep. It could be recovery from illness. It, it's just a period of recovery and rest and processing and just taking stock of what's actually happened. So this is the near future coming in. So take advantage of that. This could be a period of contemplation, uh, changing the story, uh, really making sense of what's happened. So, yeah, I feel like you're just going to, because this seems to be such a big energy here that you have made a decision to leave and walk away from, or you're in the process of doing that. So you will need some time out. We have here you in the situation, the justice card, very much a Libra card, you know, sister energy with the air signs. But Libra comes in and goes, no, nope. this is you going, no, I'm not, I need to restore balance here in this situation. This has been so out of balance. It hasn't been working for me. And so the sort of truth comes in and just kind of says, no, no, I'm not putting up with that anymore. It's very definite. I don't want that anymore, energy. And the truth will come out. You will see it. there's clarity and truth that comes through very strongly with this justice card. So if someone's been taking advantage of you or there's been some kind of imbalance in energy or imbalance of any kind of sort, you're just seeing that very, very clearly and going, no, I'm taking back. If someone's been taken too much from you, you're taking back what was taken from you. But it doesn't have to be that dramatic. It's just a case of, you know, it's it could be taking too much energy, too much time, too much thought. It's not actually, you know, someone – it can be read on so many different levels, but there's an imbalance that you are trying to rectify in your life. The energy surrounding you, we have the Queen of Swords. So, you know, it's so great you've got the King and the Queen of Swords on your side. And that's so important for you, Gemini, because you're going to have the mental strength and mental clarity that you need to pull through this. Now, this energy around you is that, again, here we see, we could see that chaos that we were talking about in the present situation with the Hermit and the tower card and here you have or someone has the ability or whether it's you or not there's some energy around you of being able to lift your head above those clouds that is that chaos that fear and doubt and whatever that could represent and to be able to see the way forward clearly so there's an ability to get out of that chaos and this could be actually, so I feel like this is you, Gemini, but it could actually be someone else. But definitely the way gets paved, the, the path opens for you. And it's interesting because here we have the path opening for you in this Ace of, Ace of Pentacles that's come out. So hopes and fears, Ace, Eight of Wands, swift action, swift change, direct communication coming through here on possibly both sides between you and this situation that you're trying to get away, a person that you're trying to get away from. So, yeah, you're wanting a swift change here. You're wanting, once you make the decision, you want it to happen pretty quickly. And, you know, the end result is here, this Eight of Cups making the decision. This is actually you walking away. You've made that decision and there you are leaving that situation and you can see there's something missing. There's eight cups stacked up. There's one cup missing. So, and very much we can see the moon here. So that could be related to, uh, you know, the the moon cycle. It could be around the new moon energy that's coming through or the next full moon cycle that comes through as well. But definitely by then there's a, there's a sense of by either the new moon or the next full moon, you would have left that situation 
that left whatever it is that hasn't been fulfilling you. And again, like the Eight of Cups is often can be just an energy. It doesn't have to be a person or a workplace or a home or a house or whatever it is. It can mean that, definitely. But it can also mean the energy of, uh, in that Seven of Swords energy, that military style camp that trying to get away from. This could be just really restrictive thoughts in your brain that, that you have to that you're trying to get out of it's like you know it has to be done this way and you're kind of like it's always done this way and it's like no maybe things can actually be different be done differently so yeah it, it's very much making a big decision here Gemini and it's going to be lead to this wonderful opportunity here with this eight of, ace of pentacles sorry so yeah I think it's really important that you spend some time and make this decision here I'm going to pull one just like one card for you Gemini just as a supporting card for that Eight of Cups energy, the final outcome. It's one last card for Gemini. That's like a whole heap of cards. We just want one card. Thank you. Of course, let's see. One last card for Gemini. We have the Hierophant, which is beautiful energy coming through for you guys. And it's also very Taurian energy coming through. So it might be related to this, but it's very much all the answers that you were looking for, you will now receive. So with that hermit looking for the path ahead, looking for the answers, the answers were within you all that time, but it just needed to shift your energy in order to be in the space to be able to get that. So as soon as this is a spiritual teacher coming through here, the Hierophant, it's a sense of connect, being able to connect back into the light and understand, understand from a bigger perspective what's gone on and why you had to leave that and where you're going. So there's a wisdom that comes through with making this decision. So I hope that makes sense. If you'd like to hear more, please like, subscribe or leave a comment. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.